There are so many misconceptions about thesis statements floating around in education world. What is a thesis statement? What information should be included in a thesis statement? Should the thesis statement be at the beginning or the end of the introductory paragraph? What is the point of a thesis statement? No wonder students are getting confused. Let's clear some of this up because it drives me crazy and I don't even have to write the essays. Many people get confused about what a thesis actually is, and even more people mix up thesis statements and topic sentences. You can watch my video on topic sentences for more information about that. But the definition of a thesis statement is pretty simple. Oxford English Dictionary defines a thesis as a statement or theory that is put forward as a premise to be maintained or proved, which means basically that the thesis is the point you are trying to make in your essay. Your thesis statement is usually your answer to the essay prompt or assignment you've been given. So, if your assignment is to write about how figurative language affects the tone of a piece of writing, your thesis statement is your answer to that. In an opinion or argumentative piece, your thesis would be your opinion that you are sharing. The thesis is whatever you are trying to prove or argue to the reader. Another confusing point is exactly what information should be included in a thesis statement. The bare minimum that you need to include is the point that you are making, whatever your answer is to the assignment question. So your first step is making sure that you understand what you are being asked to write about. You can't write a proper thesis if you don't understand the prompt question. So read the assignment carefully and ask questions until you are clear on what you need to write about. Also, be sure your thesis is specific, not just a restatement of the prompt. For example, if the essay prompt asks you how an author uses figurative language to develop tone, your thesis should not simply state, the author uses figurative language to develop tone. Duh, the essay prompt told you that much. What kind of figurative language? What kind of tone? Be specific. I also advise students to include the title and author of whatever text they are writing about. The titles and authors could be included elsewhere in your introduction. They don't have to go in your actual thesis statement, so students have some options in this regard. Just practice with your formative writings, ask your teachers for feedback on your work, and see what works best for you. Another question I get a lot is how many sentences should a thesis statement be? Many students want to split their thesis into two or more sentences. I always encourage students to try to write one clear, specific statement of their argument. Most arguments can be completely explained in one clear sentence, and that actually makes your point easier for the reader to follow. Now, that isn't to say that using multiple sentences for your thesis is wrong. If you're making a really complex argument, then it might make sense to have a two-sentence thesis. The most important thing, though, is that your argument is clear and easy for the reader to follow. If you have a thesis that is spread out over so many sentences that it becomes confusing for your reader, that's a problem. So write a thesis draft, read it, revise it if needed, maybe ask your teacher or a peer editor for their thoughts, and make sure your point makes sense. The next most popular question I get about thesis statements is where should it go in the introduction paragraph? Some students want to include it right at the start of their essay, the very first sentence. Other students kind of slide it in somewhere in the middle of their intro paragraph. But as you can see from the introduction triangle model, I advise my students to develop general discussion of their issue and then build to their specific thesis statement towards the end of their introduction paragraph. This draws the reader in to your ideas before directing them to your specific argument. My video about understanding topic sentences goes into more detail about how topic sentences and thesis statements work together, so if you haven't watched that already, be sure to check it out. The final question I get most often about thesis statements is, what is the point? What is the thesis for? Is the thesis just part of the introduction and that's it? Heck no! Your thesis is your argument, the whole point of your extended writing. Your thesis is your main focus. You should continue coming back to your thesis statement throughout your essay. In your body section, when you include evidence or quotations from a text, you always want to include analysis of how these examples prove your thesis. I'll be developing another video about how to analyze evidence to support your thesis statement, so be sure to check that out for more information. But just remember, your thesis is key to your entire writing. Without a thesis, your essay or extended writing has no point. At this point, you are ready to try writing your own thesis statement. Remember to ask questions if you are confused about the writing prompt and ask for feedback from teachers and peers to help revise your thesis to its best quality. Good luck. <laughs>